May God bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. I pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God's love is not dependent on our, on our own beauty or goodness. God's love is not dependent upon us meeting certain criteria. God's love is free and unconditional. In spite of who we are, He loves us. This is the kind of love that you, Rowan and Haley, have been called upon to pledge today, to display through the rest of your lives together. An unconditional commitment to love an imperfect person. I can see that you desire to love one another well. You're both teachable and willing to change for the sake of the other. I encourage you to remind each other that you are loved by God. Pray for each other. Not that God changes them, but that he changes your own heart. Rowan, do you take Haley to be your wife? And in the presence of these witnesses, do you vow that you will do everything in your power with God's help to make your love for Haley a growing part of your life? And do you promise to forsake all others, keeping only to her so long as you both shall live? If so, say I do. I do. And Haley, do you take Rowan to be your husband? And in the presence of all these witnesses, do you vow that you will do everything in your power with God's help to make your love for Rowan a growing part of your life and keep only to him as long as you both shall live? If so, say I do. I do. By the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel and by the authority of the laws in this state, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Rowan, you may kiss your bride.